Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. So, as I've said before, vitamin D is probably the most important vitamin uh, we have for overall good health. We can, it's not even a vitamin really, we can call it a hormone actually. And it has so many health benefits, it's gonna take an hour to list them all now. Vitamin D you can get in food, or you can get it in sunlight. But how much of all that do you need? That's what we're speaking about in this video. So the upper intake level that has been set by the Institute of Medicine is 4,000 IU a day. But of course it's lower for infants and children or smaller adults uh, to, I don't know, check with your doctor if you're thinking about supplementing. But what that means basically is that a regular person can take up to 4,000 IU of vitamin D a day and that is likely to pose no risk, so they say. Now, 4,000 IU is more than enough. The FDA recommended daily dosage is just 600 IU. But of course, you know, some studies have shown that the more the better, as long as you're not going over 4,000 IU uh, generally. So let's just take the uh, 600, right? Um, what do we need to get the FDA's uh, daily recommended dosage of vitamin D? Well, that's about 10 eggs. Now, I really don't recommend eating that many eggs a day, but <laughs> you can get the vitamin D you need from that. You can also have a little over 100 grams of salmon. That will get you 600 IU. Fungal sources have quite a bit actually. Um, certain types of mushrooms like portobello, um, a little more than 100 grams of portobello mushrooms a day will give you what you need. Uh, even better, there's something called lichen that you only need a few grams of it a day really. Uh, reindeer eat that, but humans uh, previously in history have eaten that too. That's uh, pretty difficult to find in, in the modern day. Best thing for us to do honestly is probably uh, animal liver and especially wild game. Um, specifically cod liver oil. If you want to supplement just a little more than a teaspoon gets you 600 IU a day. So that's a very, very easy way of getting it. But remember, 600 IU a day is the minimum. I take a couple teaspoons of this every day and even more if I'm feeling sick. Um, but finally, on to the real easiest way to get vitamin D and that is sunshine. <laughs> you know, depending on how white your ass is. For someone with darker skin, it could take a lot longer, but for someone like me, pasty as hell, it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes a day to get all the required vitamin D that we need. Now, 10 to 15 minutes of sunshine a day is very easy for me to get here in California where I am now. This is a lot harder though in my home of Norway in the winter time. That's why ancient humans ate a lot more vitamin D rich foods in the winter time. We would have never even survived if we didn't get enough vitamin D in the cold dark winter. So if you go really even further all the way up north like the Sami or the various Inuit peoples in different places in the world, they evolved to not see sun at all in the winter for a couple months at a time sometimes. That's why their diet consists of a lot more animal organs and seafood and even lichen, like I spoke about, um, which is extremely high in vitamin D, so they don't necessarily need to get it from the sun. That's also why these people develop darker features this way. So those are just some tips. Look at your ancestry, diet, supplement with vitamin D if you like, because most people in the modern lifestyle are way deficient in vitamin D and it's leading to a lot of health problems. Next video, I'm going to speak about exactly what I do to get enough uh, the natural way.